In this video, we take a look at the brand new Season 4 update of Krunker. We're going to take a look at all the major changes that they've made with this update and go over the patch notes together and take a look at what comes with Season 4. Also, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed, so if you do enjoy this video and find it helpful, consider subscribing. It's absolutely free and it helps out the channel a lot. Enjoy the video. So the update is finally here. After long, long time of waiting, the start of Season 4 has finally dropped in Krunker. So behind me on screen, you can see the official patch notes from Krunker's Twitter as well as the Reddit covering all the major updates that have been added to Season 4. We're going to cover all the major points of the update together, and I'll show you some of the brand new items that they added with Season 4. But if at any point you see something on this list that I don't cover, you can always pause the video and read it for yourself. I'll be covering all the major updates though. With the start of Season 4, Krunker has added all kinds of new cosmetics to the game that you can farm KR for and spin for. This includes 150 plus new hat items, 15 plus base items, 60 body items, 250 plus new weapon skins. That is a lot of weapon skins. We've also received 15 more melee items. These melee items are always fun to get because you can always interact with them and match and just throw them at people. They're always a good time to get them. It's always something to brag about. They've also added a brand new black market item to go along with some of the previous ones, such as the Shuriken and the Scout Mastery Sniper. The brand new one is known as the Bison. If you get to level 100 with the Run and Gun class, you get this new skin from the black market. On top of all the cosmetics we just mentioned, we also have a brand new cosmetic type known as Shoes. Get yourself some sick sneaks and put them on, run around with that Run and Gun class, and get that new black market item. For those of you who are looking ways to keep the game interesting, they've added the challenge levels and maxed them out up to level 30 now. And with this new level cap, you can receive a rainbow challenge level color. You may see people running around with orange or red numbers in their name. Now they will have rainbow if they reach level 30. There's a lot of additions that have been made to the update that affect map creators and mod makers alike. All kinds of quality of life things. You can look at those there. My content revolves more around the actual gameplay of the game as well as the skins. So we won't be covering the mod making and the map making tools. They are listed on screen for you to take a look at so you can use them for yourself if you know that these will help you out in the future. I just don't know anything about them personally so I won't cover them. If you want to take a look at your skins you can now press the question mark icon on your inventory in game. This will give you a quick preview of the 3D model of the weapon. It's a new way to just quickly glance at your new beautiful skins that you'll be getting in Season 4. Another thing they've done with this update is they've added the secondary weapon back to the Rocketeer class. So if you do use Rocketeer, I hate you for ending all my nukes, but I'm happy for you because you can use your secondaries again. So if you do run out of ammo with the rockets, you can switch out your secondary and finish off the enemy. There's a new ambient shading feature that you can check out in your settings. This also helps the appearance of the game look better. If you're trying to keep your FPS high, I would recommend that you leave this setting off as you normally would with anything else. If you're someone who prefers performance, just keep your settings on low. They've also done some changes to the maps. Previously, New Town and Little Town were different variations of a similar map, but now they've been merged into one map. They also have a second page of update notes that they posted on their Twitter and their Reddit. You can see it here. Most of it just covers optimization things and fixes to the game. And even though this page appears to mostly be bug fixes, there is one that they've sprinkled in here that you might not have noticed, but the LMG reload time was decreased by 100 milliseconds. And that might not sound like a lot, but for you LMG mains, that's going to make a huge difference. This gun is needed a buff for a while because it does not do that much damage and it takes forever to reload. You get a lot of extra health with this class, but most of it is just taken away as you're reloading. So being able to reload a little bit quicker should help you perform a little bit better with this class. And then with this second screenshot, they gave us a little preview of one of the new contraband SMG skins known as the Exoskeleton. I think it looks really, really good. Super futuristic looking. I love the green and purple. It's like a Joker vibe, but it's really nice. And along with that Exoskeleton skin, they've added all kinds of contrabands, some FAMAS skins, semi-autos, an assault rifle, Kaiju, which I just unboxed in one of my new unboxing videos that will be coming soon. So that is the brand new overview of season four of Krunker. I'm really looking forward to this newest season of Krunker. I think it's going to freshen up the game and bring a lot of people back into it. I do hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you learn a few things about the new season. I hope that it's gotten you excited for it. And if you haven't played it yet, hopefully you can go home and play it soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.